Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with Antelope Audio. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some more advanced routing options within the Antelope Audio control panel. We'll be looking at real-time monitoring, monitoring of effects, committing those effects to tape, parallel processing, and a couple of other tricks that are possible with the Antelope Audio routing matrix. Okay, here we go. Let's start by routing a conventional microphone, in this case the Jay-Z Microphones Amethyst, through the Synergy Core processing path into the recording path of our DAW to record some acoustic guitar. So why would we want to do that? Well, honestly, it's all about commitment for me. Get it right on the way in, get a great sound to tape if you like, and then there's less to worry about when it comes to the mixing process, because believe me, you can have too many choices. The second and main reason is all about performance. It gives your artist, be that a singer, a voiceover artist or instrumentalist, the best possible sound in their ears to create their grade A performance. Using the Antelope Audio Synergy Core effects system adds no additional load to your computer or DAW, as all the processing is being done by the DSP and FPGAs inside the interface. Let's start by plugging in our mic's XLR cable into the Mic Pre A1 on our Antelope Audio Orion Studio Synergy Core interface. Now in the control panel, let's drag Preamp 1 input down to AFX1 in. This means the signal goes from our Mic Pre directly to the first of our 32 AFX slots. Now let's route from AFX1 to Computer Record 1. This means any output from our first AFX slot will be routed to channel 1 on our DAW. DAW-wise, I'm using Pro Tools, it's what I'm familiar with. However, whichever DAW software you're using, the process is exactly the same. Let's create a new track in Pro Tools and call it Acoustic Guitar Plus Effects and hit Record Enable to monitor through the DAW. Back in the control panel, you can see that our headphone outputs are both coming from Computer Play 1 and 2. This means we are routing through the DAW. Now let's add some Synergy Core effects to AFX1. First, I want to add a vintage mic pre. Let's use the VPA76, a stunning recreation of a vintage German mic pre. Now let's add an EQ. I'm going to choose the MG4 Plus because it's really easy to dial in and sounds fantastic on acoustic guitar. Now let's keep control and add some real class to this recording with the Tube Child 760 Very Mu compressor. Now let's hit record and see what happens. The processing in this example has been committed into the recording, to tape if you like, and remember that none of the processing is being done by the computer or by the DAW, it's all being done by the DSP chips and the FPGAs inside our interface, so the computer can worry about what it does best, capturing and storing our precious audio. Now it's always good to commit to a tone when tracking, however it can be very handy to have an unprocessed backup, just in case when it comes to mixing you find that the tone you dialed in really isn't cutting it. All we have to do here is create another track in our DAW, I'll call it Acoustic Guitar Clean, set it to input 2 and record enable and mute the track as we don't need to monitor it. Now in the control panel, drag preamp 1 to computer record 2. So now we have the process signal going to channel 1 and the clean backup recorded to channel 2. So now it's time for the vocal and I'm going to use my Antelope Audio Edge Duo modelling microphone for my voice. I'll plug this into mic inputs 5 and 6 on the back of the interface and in the control panel I'll head to the mic pre section. Set the input to mic. I'll link the channels as the Edge Duo modelling mic records the two channels simultaneously. I'll turn on Phantom Power by holding down Command and clicking on the 48V logo. Now I'll hit the mic emulation button and set this to Edge Duo. I'll select the Vienna 12 model as a starting point and ease up the gain to get a level. Now we can see the meters jumping up and down. We can route the mic to AFX 3 and 4 in. Then AFX out 3 and 4 can be routed to computer record 3 and 4. Now let's create a stereo channel in Pro Tools and set the inputs accordingly and set it to record and input monitor. We are still monitoring through the DAW, which in theory is the most latent way of doing it. However, modern computers can handle one or two tracks of real-time monitoring with no issues at low buffer sizes. 
When track counts grow and you're required to provide zero latency monitoring with effects for your artist or a number of artists with different requirements, the best solution would be to use one of the four mixes built into the Orion Studio control panel. We'll look at this option shortly. But for now, we can add a mic pre. Let's choose the BAE 1073 MP. An EQ, let's choose the VM EQ5 for that warm valve tone and beautiful top end. And let's compress it with an Opto 2A. And for safety, we can drag in a parallel path directly from the mic model to computer record 5 and 6, just in case we overcook the vocal processing. Let's take this a stage further and set up a second AFX path so we can have different processing on each and record everything. The two effects paths, the mic models on their own, and even a clean signal with no mic emulations. I'm sure I said something earlier about having too many choices. I walk alone at midnight, the moonlight shining still. There's not a cloud to break my stride, there's a cold and frosty chill. I feel you as you reach for me, your touch is soft and warm. Your skin feels like a summer day, like the day that you were born. So I've added some percussion, again using the Edge Duo for the recording, and now I want to add some backing vocals. But to get me more in the zone, I want to monitor with some nice, lush, rich, comfort reverb. And to do this, I'm going to use one of the four mix buses that are built in to the Antelope Audio Control Panel. I'll drag from AFX 3 and 4 out to Mix 1, 3 and 4. Now let's route from Comp Play 1 and 2 to Mix 1, Channels 1 and 2. And let's also route Mix 1 and 2 out to Headphones 1 and 2. Now, when I play back, I'll hear my previously recorded tracks. I'll also hear the vocal I'm about to record, but now I can add some comfort reverb from Auraverb, the included high quality Synergy Core reverb processor. I'll set both playback and mic channels to stereo linked and get myself a nice mix. So just to go over it again, I'm still tracking with both my processed and my clean paths directly into my DAW. However, instead of monitoring with the DAW, I'm now monitoring through one of my mix buses inside the control panel, which gives me a practically latency free monitoring path, even when recording and monitoring with effects. And if you find you need more control of your mix while tracking, simply create more comp play channels in the mixer and configure your DAW to route to them. Now I have a stereo pair for guitar, a pair for percussion, a stereo pair for the lead vocal, and a pair for the backing vocals which I can adjust to my liking inside the control panel. And I can set the reverb levels for monitoring as I go. If I want to capture the sound that I'm hearing in my headphones, I can route the mix one output to a pair of computer record channels and record this to my DAW as a rough mix. Now let's stack up some vocals. I walk alone at midnight, the moonlight shining still. There's not a cloud to break my stride, there's a cold and frosty chill. I feel you as you reach for me, your touch is soft and warm. Your skin feels like a summer day, like the day that you... So I really hope you enjoyed that and you feel empowered to get even more out of your Antelope audio interface and Synergy Core effects. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all future videos from Antelope Audio. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon. Ooh, I miss you.